Hello, happy Friday everybody. It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday. Okay, so now we've established what day of the week it is, it's time for me to go through my list of fears. Notice I didn't introduce the topic because you already know what it is, having seen four other videos already. Okay, so I have three main fears, or three fears that I'm going to tell you about. If I was to list all of my fears, the list would probably go on for hours. So, fear number one. Um, Danny would mentioned that she used to have a fear of dogs. Um, I used to have a fear of dogs as well, only I still have that fear. When I was about six, me and my sister used to go to this childminder, and they had a dog, and whenever we came, they had to shut the dog in the kitchen, because otherwise I'd be just, I would just go mental. Because I mean, it used to be a lot. W it used to be a lot worse than it is now. If I saw a dog a couple of meters away, I would run away very fast. But then I learned that actually, if you scream and actually make a big fuss of it, dogs actually will come nearer you because they think it's all a game. So yeah, so I don't do that anymore. And the other reason of that being that I do have more dignity than I did when I was six. But anyway, I did feel kind of guilty having to make them lock the dog up in the kitchen, but I was just so scared of the dog, and plus I was only six years old. I wasn't about to go, oh no, don't worry, let's just let the dog loose around the house. I don't mind, I'll just sit on this sofa being scared. Daria, I noticed you mentioned you don't have a normal fear, like dogs. I haven't actually met anybody else who is scared of dogs. Daria will remember this, but the other different vloggers won't, so... I'm going to elaborate now. Um, me and Daria and the rest of our form at school did a cross-country run the uh, last week, it was, and as we were running down a certain path, um, a guy with two dogs, two massive sort of German shepherds, just came walking down the path the opposite direction that we were running to and people sort of usually just sort of swerved out of the way but I flattened myself against the wall and was just terrified I mean Darry was just sort of like okay keep running keep running and yeah at least I didn't scream or anything I mean that would have been worse fear number two illness but I'm not actually scared of myself getting ill I'm actually really, really scared of other people getting ill. Um, the sound of throwing up makes me go mental. I hate it. Fear number three. Okay, right, I'm going to warn you here now. If you are planning to get braces anytime soon or being referred to an orthodontist anytime soon, I would advise you not to listen to this bit. Leave the video now. Leave. Goodbye. Go away. Fear number three, orthodontists. Believe it or not, um, I am very scared of the orthodontist. But when I get there, it's not actually that bad. I mean, I got braces fitted in May 2010. And, I mean, it didn't hurt when they put them on. It didn't taste very nice, obviously. But, and I have to go back pretty much every month to for the orthodontist to tighten them up so that they make sure they're still like doing their job straightening my teeth. It that doesn't really hurt much either. I mean, all he does is get like this little this like scissors with a hook on the end and do something to my mouth, I don't know. It doesn't hurt. I can just like lie back in the chair and it's usually fine. But when I'm waiting in the waiting room, I'm just shaking and I mean days before it I go, Oh no, I've got to go to the orthodontist in a few days. But, when I get worked up and panicked, it usually makes me feel sick, so I end up feeling really sick for days before. Make a mountain out of a molehill, as the expression goes. So, now you all know what a massive wimp I am. Yay. But before I go, there's one more thing I need to add, and this is a very important thing for all the five different vloggers, so I hope everybody is listening now. This thing that I'm about to tell you is going to determine from now on, who's going to decide what the next theme for the next week is going to be? It's the Tea Name Generator! It's called the Tea Name Generator, by the way, because it has a picture of a kettle. And basically, I don't know if you can see this, 
Oh, this picture's really bad. Okay, right. It's got a giant picture of a kettle, and you probably can't see, but it's got all of our names listed down there. And as soon as I press this little orange button, which says tap here or shake, um, the names are going to spin past in a list. And whoever it comes up with has to think of the theme for next week. So, we're going to do the first official tea name generating. Now. Today. And you won't be able to see it. I've just realised that. Okay. I'm just going to have to tell you and you're just going to have to believe me, okay? Three, two, one. And the person who's making up the theme for the next video is... Hayley! It says Hayley right there. Hayley has to make up the theme for the next video. Good luck with that, Hayley. I wonder what she will come up with. So, that will be the end of the video. Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. And... Look forward to having Daria back on Monday. Goodbye.